thing you don't realise is that all the movements of all the buses driving in and about London are monitored. I don't know nothing about that. No, I know. I'm telling you. They know where I am, and it's not where I'm supposed to be, so naturally they're going to be concerned. More than concerned, actually. Oh, this bloody system. What's up now? Well, it's medieval, it is. I've got 11 buses that have disappeared out their own arseholes. Who turn up? Yeah, they usually do. How are things at home? Uh, well, I've got the upstairs, she got the downstairs. I don't want to alarm you, but the police are probably already on the way right now. Or they're probably waiting for us up ahead. We're probably driving straight for them. She's lying. I'm just telling you. Of course, I let her use the bathroom and she lets me use the kitchen. But apart from that, it's, um, it's all a bit of a bloody mess, really. Have a bourbon. Oh. I'll do everything you tell me to do, all right? I'm just warning you that things might get out of hand that I have no control over. And I don't want you to take it out on me if and when they do. Shit! Shit! Keep driving! What's the matter with her? She'll be all right. What's up with her? Nothing. She just faints now and again, that's all. She's bleeding. What? One of her wellies is bleeding. Just keep driving. She needs help. She she needs treatment. Keep driving. I am driving. I haven't got much choice, have I? Are you giving me lip? No, God, no. I'm just panicking. And I feel sick. Oh, you're not going to faint on me as well, are you? But it's help, frankly, if you stop waving that needle about. Just drive. sitcom, what you do is you create a situation uh, whereby Jane's life was in imminent danger, and then um, you'd swoop in and save her from the jaws of doom in a key dramatic moment. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, given that that, that isn't going to happen... Mm. Isn't this the wrong way around, though? What? Asking me to be your best man before you've asked her if she wants to marry you. Shouldn't that in itself tell you something? What? That it's a bit of a silly idea, and you, you haven't really thought it through. me if I wanted to marry you. Uh, no, it wouldn't annoy me. I'm not sure how long it would last, though. Why? Well, I wouldn't want to have sex with you. Well, why not? Well, I suppose I'd be worried that you'd be thinking more about Tanya than you were about me. <sighs> well, I would. What? It's Jane. So, 
How come you have to be in Slayer by six o'clock? It's my kid's birthday party. He's four. He lives with my sister. He was born inside. Don't really know me, not properly. Only I wanted to see him. Kelly said she could get me out, so we did. He was born inside? And cuffed me to a bed. I shouldn't have kept making jokes about trying to escape. Like you can get anywhere when you're nine months pregnant. What's that? It's my mobile. You better not answer it. You better give it to me. It's Richard. Is it? Who's he? My boyfriend. Is he wondering where you are? I don't know. Perhaps he'll leave a message. Perhaps. What's he like? He's very nice. Why are you crying? I'm not. I'm just frightened. I ain't gonna hurt you. I just wanna get to Slough. You should be in hospital. Yeah, you're right, I should. What happened? You know, uh, when you go over the wall at Holloway. <clears throat> no. Well, there's a slope at the bottom. Big slope. Right. It's there to break your ankles when you land. Oh, shit. No. I nicked the wellies cos I was bleeding so bad. I don't know if I dare take them off now. <laughs> if he'll probably come off with them. Does your kid know you're coming? No. It's a surprise. I'd be thrilled to bits when we roll up in a double-decker. With a real bus driver. You'll have to come inside and say hello. Yeah. Oh. Here, good boy. You go sit down over there and make yourself comfy. Yeah. Uh -huh. You want some chocolate? No, thanks. I nicked one for you. I'll have it later. Right. Come on in. Let's get moving. We can't piss about here too long. Vicar Street Control to Metro Control. Go ahead, Vicar Street Control. Over. Yeah, uh, you haven't had a code red from AV35 in the last three quarters of an hour, have you? Over. AV35? No, over. OK. Uh, well, she's gone off screen and she's not answering her radio. Over. Well, I haven't seen anything yet, Victor Street. Though, but I'll check the D20 drive and get back to you. All right, over. OK, I'll run out. Oh, my God. Right. Dave? What the bloody hell is she doing in Slough? It's her boyfriend. I think you better hear this. Hi, Phil. Oh, hi. My name's Richard Lomas. I'm Jane Hall's boyfriend. I got a text message from her about ten minutes ago that just says, help. Uh, do you know where she is? Hey, Steph, you want to ring her? Your sister. Let him know you're coming. Shall I? Don't mind if she uses your phone, do you, Mandy? Of course not. Not far now. I want you to turn left at the end. So? It's me. Me, Steph. Can you hear me? I'm coming to the party. I'm coming to the party. There's a police car behind us. How long's it been there? I've only just seen it. I'm, I'm on a bus. I'm nearly there. Shit! Shit! I'm just round the corner. I'm in Queen Mary Road. Can you believe it? 
It's Ryan there. What shall I do? Reverse. What, Ryan? I can't. What's happening? Shit. Nothing. Ryan? It's me, your mum. Happy birthday, kid. Get out of the cab. What? Something's now. happening. Put the handbrake on. I, I might be a few more minutes. I I've got to go. You play ball with me and I won't hurt you, all yeah. right? I'll speak to you soon. Well, I'll see you soon. Hello, sweetheart. Ta. Look frightened. OK. Evening all. This is the deal. The bus driver gets it. In the neck. Now. You shut the doors and you ring me on this driver's mobile number. Whatever it is, you can find it out. And I want to speak to someone in charge. Are you getting this? Someone important. Fine. Shut the doors. Uh, hi, I'm looking Richard. for Dave Searle. Come through. Hi. Um, uh, these are, um, uh, we all share a house together. With, with, with Jane. Yeah, yeah, we have met. Hi. Uh... Do you want to come up to the governor's office? Something happened to her? No, but there's a situation going down. The governor will explain it to you. The thing is, Kelly, you're holding the traffic up and it's causing problems. People are trying to get home from work. I don't care. Yeah, but if you could just sit down in a room and talk about it properly. Face to face? There isn't nothing to talk about. You know what I want. I'm not asking for the earth. Can I talk to Jane? Who? Jane, the driver. She ain't called Jane, she's called Mandy. Oh, OK. Well, can I talk to her? Tell them you're all right. I'm all right. They haven't hurt me. They're not hurting me. But I will, if I have to. Get on with it. Can I say something? Free country, Jane. Why did you lie? I was frightened. You don't trust me? I do. Trust you. Why? I wouldn't trust me. She needs to get to hospital. She's lost a lot of blood. And I know you want to get to this party, but there'll be other parties. No, there won't. Next year, the year after, when she gets out. There isn't going to be a next year. Why? Why not? Because it's now or never. She's dying. She's got AIDS. Where do you think we got the blood from? She's asked to be let out on compassionate release to see him. But they wouldn't let her. Not even for half an hour. They've turned her down five times. Why? <laughs> She's hardcore. She's done things. All the same as her kid, in it. I've got a kid myself. But I'll see him. Another nine months and I'll see him. Except they'll probably slap another three on me for this. Will they? I don't care. I just wanted to see him. And not inside. Christ. What are they talking about? It's two streets away. Why can't they let us see him for five minutes, for God's sake? You ain't half gonna get done for this, Kelly. Hey, yeah. But I'll go down in style, babe. And it's worth it. I feel so good, you know. You gotta hang in there, kid. We're this close. Yes? 
I've spoken to the prison governor, and what he's promising me is that he will reconsider Steph's request for compassionate temporary leave. When? Well, we didn't discuss right. when, but I'm sure... The one thing we don't have here is time, and he knows that. Yet yeah, he is fully aware of Steph's health problems. I don't know if it's enough. I don't know why she can't see right now. Please let the bus driver go. If you let her go now, it's going to stand you in so much better stead further down the line. I ain't doing this for me. I'm doing it for Steph. I understand that, Kelly. She's dying. She should be able to see him. I understand that, and I think you've made your point very successfully. Now, I want to end this without anyone getting hurt. And then Steph's case will be given proper... ..and serious consideration. And then you'll say no. No, I'm not saying no. It just isn't in my power to say yes. What I can promise is that it will be taken very seriously. Do you want to talk to Steph about it? I can do. Steph. Shh. Come on. Steph! Steph! Uh. Uh. Steph! She, um, I don't know. Steph! Steph! <laughs> Onto the floor. Hello? No, it's Jane. Yes. Yes. <laughs> They're saying she can have half an hour with him. I wouldn't have hurt you. No. I know.
feel all kind of what sad, melancholy, weird. Well, that shock. Is it? I think you handled it really well. Do you? Yeah. I'd have. What? I don't know. Had had an accident. In my knickers, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always thought I would if anything like that happened to me. And I was frightened, but I don't know. When it happens, you just get on with it, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. If you think I've been snobby about you being a bus driver. If I think. If I have. The thing is, I think it's natural to want to do all right for yourself. It is. Of course it is. And I don't want to be a bus driver forever. But the trouble is, I don't know what else I could be. I thought you wanted to be a stand-up comedian. I'd love it. I'd love to get paid millions and have thousands of people pissing themselves laughing every time I open my mouth. Why don't you, then? <laughs> you think I'm joking? No, I don't. I think you could do anything you want to do. Do you? Look, the thing is... If, if you ever wanted to settle down, you know, buy a house or have children, you know, that sort of business. <laughs> Richard, I'm not about to start dropping babies. And I think buying a house is several light years away, frankly. Unless I met a really rich bloke who was blind and wanted to marry me. <laughs> Sorry, have I missed something? You weren't gonna ask me to marry you, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I think I could do with some of that brandy we bought. Do you want one? No, I'm OK. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Don't stay up too late. Good night. You're up late. Couldn't sleep. You all right? Yeah, I'm um, just a bit weird, that's all. Well, it's not every day you have to drive through Slough. <sighs> weird day all round. There was a punch-up at the garage this morning. I think it might be my fault. Oh? Helen, the lesbian, hit Barry the wanker. Oh, very good. With my cash bag. So why was it your fault? I 
it usually is. I don't know. I just think it would never have happened if I hadn't been there, even though my involvement on the surface was minimal. What a fascinating life you lead. What, today? Yeah. I was sorry to hear that you and Richard hadn't been getting on so well lately. Is it that obvious? No, no, he... he told me about... Tanya, about what happened. Did he? What a shit. These things happen. No, they don't. If I was... If I had... It just wouldn't occur to me to even look at another woman. I just wouldn't see her. It wouldn't exist. <laughs> sorry, it just makes me very angry. I'm sorry? No, you don't have to be sorry. It just makes me very angry that he... that, that, that I... I... I'm... very... fond of you. I know that. I'm... really... really... Very, very... I know. And I'm... What? Really, really... very, very fond of you.